Ever wonder what it's like to be a part of the police department and their missions? Starting in March, the Great Falls Police Department will be hosting their Citizens Academy to provide community members an inside look. Well, the Citizens Academy in general is, is really the, the best way for us as a police department to connect to our community members. An academy that runs twice a year, this program will consist of both classroom and hands-on training to show what the police force do during their day-to-day -day duties. You get a chance to uh, really learn the inner workings of the police department and how we function, answer all those questions out there that you have been like, why do they do that? Or why do they park their cars like that? Or what is it like to, to shoot a gun? What is it like to go on a ride along and really see um, the activity that happens on the street every day? And, and really it's, it's how we um, show that we're not just officers, we are uh, humans behind this badge. We are, we are uh, family members, we're husbands, we're wives, we're brothers, sisters. Um, and when we come to work, we are here to help out the community. And this is our best way that we can truly give back and show and open those doors up um, on a, on a, in a good way. The purpose, he says, is to enhance citizen understanding and awareness of the role police officers serve. We want to make sure that um, we bring everybody in. And we have no secrets. We want you to know how we work and how we function, how we do the things we do and why we do the things we do. And that the end goal is for the public to have a better perception of the police and their services. We want to just reach out to the community and what you, what you know, what we can do and what we are doing for you and the community. Classes for Citizens Academy will start on March 7th. In Great Falls, Cade Mentor, MTN News. Helena city leaders have selected their interim city manager at their first meeting since the former city manager resigned last week. But MTN's Jonathan Amberian reports this is only a first step in the process of finding her replacement. On Wednesday, Helena City Commissioners finalized their short-term plans for the city manager position, but there's still a long way to go to determine how they'll fill the job on a permanent basis. At a special meeting Wednesday evening, they voted unanimously to approve a temporary contract, making City Attorney Thomas Joden the interim city manager through April 1st, or until a longer-term replacement takes over. Leaders said this is the best way to keep the city running smoothly. We thank you for stepping up to the plate to create this transition that will be seamless. So I, we appreciate you stepping forward. I like the contract and I think the terms are agreeable to the parties involved and we desperately need his services for the next month. And so I think we should move on with this uh, agreement tonight. Joden has already been acting city manager since last week when Rachel Harlow Schalk announced her resignation. He was set to leave the city for a job with the Montana League of Cities and Towns, but he's delayed that. Helena Mayor Wilmot Collins told MTN after the meeting that he will set up a subcommittee of commissioners. They'll work with Joden to develop a plan for bringing in a permanent interim city manager who can serve until they select a final replacement for Harlow Schalk. Under the temporary contract, the city will pay Joden just under $15,000 to serve as interim city manager. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.